Hey everybody, it's Matthew Seville here from slrlounge.com. In this video, I'm gonna give you my top five tips for getting the most out of Adobe Bridge and Adobe Camera Raw. A lot of people don't realize how powerful and fast Bridge and Camera Raw can be, and this is usually because they just don't have things set up right. There's a lot of settings and uh, tricks that you can use to get things running optimally. So let's get into it. How do you optimize Bridge and Camera Raw for a powerful and efficient workflow? The first tip is to disconnect Bridge and Camera Raw from Photoshop just a little bit. Now what I mean is go into the preferences right here in Edit on a PC or in on a Mac it'll be Bridge and then there'll be Preferences. And then in the very first tab in general, you're going to look here at behavior, double click at its camera raw settings in bridge. With this option selected, what you're going to get is you don't have to open Photoshop. See how Photoshop is not even open? If I double click on this image, it brings it up in camera raw and I can work on it. I can do all sorts of fun stuff and then I can click done and Photoshop never opened. I can do batches of photos like this. I could work on an entire wedding and do almost all of my work without ever opening Photoshop. So that's a very efficient way to work. You can batch process in Bridge just like this. If these images were all very similar, then I would be able to go through them really quickly just like that. And then click Done or click Save and that's it. I would only need to open image in Photoshop, this button right here, if I actually had to do some specific retouching. The rest of the time, I'm just going to only ever work in Bridge with ACR. So that's a pretty cool tip, number one. Number two, the next big tip is in the Preferences panel for Camera Raw settings. Again, that's going to be in Edit, Camera Raw Preferences, or on a Mac, you're going to look for Bridge right next to File and then Camera Raw Preferences near the top. Anyways, this option is down here at the bottom of the Camera Raw Preferences. JPEG and TIFF handling. You want it to say automatically open all supported JPEGs. Of course this is only helpful if you actually want Bridge to open JPEGs but I know there's a lot of JPEG photographers out there who want to edit their JPEG photos quickly uh, in batches instead of opening them individually in Photoshop. So this is what you said right here. Automatically open all supported JPEGs. So that way, if I have, for example, this is a JPEG file here, this is a JPEG file here, I can click on these photos, and again, they're going to open up in Camera Raw, and I can edit them as if they were a raw photo with all these raw parameters. Of course, I don't get my white balance uh, like a raw photo, and there's always going to be slightly less detail in a JPEG photo. But if you nail your exposure, then you're usually doing very good and you can tweak these settings and batch edit your JPEG photos in Camera Raw. So that's tip number two. Tip number three is get your thumbnails and previews sorted out. And your thumbnails are going to be right around here. You can't see them right now because I have to click on Window and then Path Bar. This option was hidden, but it's this Path Bar right here. And this little icon, set of icons right here, is your thumbnails section. What this does is it brings down a pop-down menu where you can set prefer embedded thumbnails and that will quickly generate thumbnails based on the embedded from the raw file. So they, basically the back of your camera is what the images will look like. Or you can do high quality on demand, which means your pictures will look like the back of your camera until you click on them and then they'll convert to the high quality and they'll reflect what, whatever edits you've applied in Bridge. Or you can do always high quality and you can do generate 100% previews. This will always generate the highest quality possible previews and so everything will load fast. You can always go through your images very rapidly and that's just what you want to do all the time if you have the computer speed to handle it. I've got a fast computer with an SSD hard drive, so I'm going to always leave generate 100% previews on. If you have a slightly less speedy computer, you may want to do this some of the time, but maybe not all the time. It's up to you. One thing that's part of this tip is to go back into your preferences. Again, up here, preferences, or just hit control K, command K on a Mac, and then you can go into the cache settings here and do keep 100% previews in cache. This will make sure that your cache previews stay around as long as possible, unless of course you compact your cache or purge your cache right here. But with these options selected, you're gonna have fast loading thumbnails, 
If I click on this, it goes bam, right to my 100% preview. I can go to the next image, bam, there's my 100% preview, and so on and so forth. So it's very fast to cull your images this way overall, and it's just great to have your thumbnails quick loading. Tip number four is next, and this one is kind of sneaky, but it's very helpful if you're going through lots of different photos, different folders, and you want to view multiple folders at the same time. Let's say I've got my photo shoot here, I went to Joshua Tree, and I've got a bunch of folders all here, and I just want to check them all out. I don't want to drag and drop. These are categorized for whatever reason. You know, I did a different bunch of different time lapses. So what I want to do is, right now it's not showing me anything. I got to click on View, and then do show items from subfolders right there. Now it's going to automatically start loading up all of these folders and showing them all together. It's got 600 photos so far. It's going to keep on gathering all of these photos. Um, if I click on view, it oh, you can see again, it's got this is show items from subfolders or show folders as well. It can show these folders here or show hidden files, which sometimes is nice if you. Uh, if you're in Bridge and you have a PDF file that you want to view or something, I don't know. And then lastly, you have show reject files, which is something you want to leave checked just in case you have a file that accidentally gets bumped with uh, the reject flag. You don't want that to go hidden or missing. You, you might freak out or you know your life could flash before your eyes if it's a very, 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 very important photo. So anyways, this is nice to have show items from subfolders. Unfortunately, the minute you go into a subfolder and then go back out to this folder, it doesn't remember that setting. So you just got to go back, view, show items from subfolders, and it'll bring up those uh, subfolders again pretty quickly. See how it jumped right to 5000 instead of re-indexing it from scratch. Anyways, last but not least, this tip is the fastest way to adjust settings in Camera Raw. So let's say I've got a bunch of photos here. I want to edit all of these photos all at once. These are frames from a time lapse, and I want to edit all of these all at once. I've got a few hundred photos here. So I'm going to open them all, select all. This is how you do really rapid editing in Bridge. You can do select all like this, and then when you're done with that photo, you can control click it to deselect it from the group. So say for example, I want to control A to select all or command A. Say for example, I want to apply adjustments to these. I'm going to apply the adjustments and then maybe the image changes slightly and I'll control click it to deselect that one. And then I have all of these. So basically I never have to do the same thing twice. That's my trick is there is no previous button like in Lightroom. So you're stuck with this automatic synchronization thing, which is very handy if you do it this way. So basically what I'm going to do is, here's another tip, is I click on it. A lot of people will just like try and mouse over and drag like that, and then drag, and then drag, which I find to be a little bit too time consuming because it requires more precision. What I'll do is I'll just click on that open box here, anywhere around here, and get in there. And then I'll just click up and down, or shift click up and down for greater increments. So I want the highlights down a little bit. I want my tint to go up a little bit. It's kind of weird looking. There we go, that's a little bit better. Maybe it needs to warm up a little bit more now. This is getting a little bit too saturated. I'm gonna turn down the vibrance a little bit. And then uh, what else do I want to do? I don't want my blacks to go too far, but I want my shadows to be nice and rich. So I'm gonna dial that down. And something like that. These are JPEG photos from a time lapse, so they're not going to be perfect, but uh, there you go. That's how I would edit multiple photos and do them in a batch. I would control click them from the group and deselect them like this, and then continue to make my changes here. And when I make changes here, I click on the box, and then I just hit the up or down keys with my other free hand. So that's the fastest way to edit in Adobe Bridge and Adobe Camera Raw. I hope this video was helpful to you and I'm looking forward to the next one. All right, take care guys.